If you have a 1.4 lens, like this Fuji 16 millimeter, it'll change your life. You know what I learned at this weekend's wedding? That 2.8 sucks. I feel like Peter Pan with my shadow right here. <laughs> I just had to show you this because when I was on the job, I honestly could not believe the difference of 1.4 to my 2.8 setting. Um, I was not shooting with my 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. I had my uh, 16 to 55, which is a 2.8 lens. And they're doing the speeches and I'm stuck at 2.8. I didn't want to raise my ISO higher than I was already at, like, you know, 4,000 ISO. And uh, that one point when I changed lenses really quick, I was like, holy cow. So that much difference in light allowed me to lower my ISO because I was able to expose for the amount of light that was in the room and it was a win-win. So I got more light coming in, I was able to lower my ISO and my shutter speed stayed the same at 60. Doing stills by the way, not video. <laughs> so this is just a quick example, okay? My camera is set to 800 ISO, 2.8 at 60th of a second on video. Now, just in real time, I turned all the lights off Okay, the only light on is this guy right here. So, watch this, 2.8, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six clicks to 1.4. This is 1.4 without changing my ISO, without changing my shutter speed. So real quick, 2.8. 1.4 that's the difference of a 1.4 lens I was struggling to raise my ISO and do I lower my shutter speed to allow more light in but when I raise my ISO it's gonna be grainier it's gonna be more you know less quality of a file shall we say and I grabbed my 16 millimeter 1.4 oh dear Lord in heaven if you've never photographed with a 1.4 lens before ever in low light, 2.8 feels like it's miles away when you need that low light. So watch this. There's clicks, there's three clicks. From 1.4 to 2.0 is three clicks. Okay, so that's third increments. One, two, three. Two point, that's 2.0. One, two, three. That's 2.8. Six one-third clicks is how much more available light you can work in. Right? Right? Uh, the amount of stops I have available to me at 1.4 compared to 2.8. It feels like miles away when you're in a low light scenario and you just need to have more light. Yeah, get one of these. So um, anyway, quickie little something I had to throw out there. It was major for me over the weekend. And uh, if you want to buy either one of those lenses, they're both great lenses, but dear Lord, get the 1.4. Rent it if you have never worked with a 1.4 lens before ever. Rent it first before you buy it. That's the best thing I can tell you to do. Because once you work with it, you'll be like, yeah, I got to have one of these. All right, you guys, stay focused on your dreams. Subscribe, hit the like, hit the dislike. Just, just do your thing, but I will see you in the next video. A lot of work to do. It's October. Bye, y'all.